Okay, so this tutorial is not a Blender specific tutorial. I'm going to show you a free application that spits out um, color and height maps that gives you these things right here, make you something like this or like this. Um, but basically it spits out height maps um, that look like this and then it also gives you a color like this and also gives you normal maps as well. Um, so I'm going to show you that and it's called JS Placement and then I'll show you how to use those in Blender. So you would just go on Google and type in J-S-P-L-A-C-E and it'll show up J-S Placement and here you go. This is the website and over here just go to click on the J-S Placement installer, install it and then you'll get an icon that looks like this. You can click on it and it'll bring up, you'll have a splash screen and then you'll see this. And so right up here you're going to see these dots, click that and you're going to have all these menus. So we're gonna, I'm going to pick J-S Placement 2. Um, but the way it works is you just click on this square here and and it gives you this. Let's just look at the others real quick. You got classic. It gives you these. Um, you have velvet. It gives you this ridiculous looking ones. Um, these are pretty wild. Um, also you have wire. This one's pretty simple. Just gives you these wires. And just pretty interesting. And the last one, dot grid. This one's good for just adding to your things. And yeah, so let's go back to JS Placement 2 and let's make one real quick. I'm going to, um, once it's in, I'm going to go over, I'm going to click Crap Pack and just hit one of these sliders to update it. And so now we have this. So, or how about Big Data? Move that. And so we get all these things and just mess with it, have some fun, play with iterations, sprite scaling, things like that. And once you get something that you like, um, what you want to do is you're going to have these right here. And first thing you want to do is save the height. Click save. It's going to save wherever you tell it to go. Click colorize. You can go in here and pick whatever color you want for the scene. Uh, I'm going to pick this one and then um, click that arrow there and click save color and then you'll save that. So that's what you'll do in here. If you want to use normals, you can do that as well. You can click invert. Um, I'm not going to mess with normals, but we're going to keep it where it's at. But now let's uh, let's go into Blender. So I'm just going to input a plane here. I'm going to subdivide it by 100. And we'll just leave it there for now. Let's go to the shader editor. Let's hit tab, U, and click unwrap. So we can leave our plane, unwrap our, unwrap our plane here, click new, and what we're going to do is import an image. So I am image texture, and we'll go to where we saved our image. So I'm going to click the color, plug it into the base color, and let's go to look dev and see how that looks. So it's here. We have it. Um, next thing we're going to add, we're just going to duplicate this. Click it to non-color data, click on the folder, and we're going to go to the height map. So that would be this height map right here. Click on it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a bump node. We're going to plug the color into the height and the normal into the normal. And now we have um, some stuff going on here in our um, in our displacement here we're just with some bump mapping and so now that we have this now we're going to go into displacing our plane so let's just go to the modifiers add a new modifier subdivision surface add a displace make it a uh, 0.05 in the strength click new and keep it on image and just open up the height map image that we have So now let's just go to look dev, see if it all lines up. It does. And let's go back to our subdivision. We'll give it a subdivision of two. And I'm actually going to 0 0.1. Just up the strength. And yeah, this is sort of a simple way of getting this motherboard sort of looking displacement. If you want to go even crazier, which is one thing I like to do is add some lights here. What we, what we can do, super simple, add a mix shader. Get our mix shader, add an emission shader, 
put it there. I'm going to give it a strength of 50, give it a blue color, plug it into the bottom of our mix. And then up here, let's copy, let's just duplicate our height and put in a color ramp. And let's just plug that into the factor. And so now we're just going to bring this over. And now we have a couple of lights. Or I'll actually flip the color ramp and bring it over like this. Gives us some, some better spots to put the lights. And now we have these lights in our scene as well. And um, yeah, you can basically add this to whatever object you want. Say I don't want that and I want to use a cube. I'll just hit tab U, smart UV, unwrap, and then we'll go in and we'll add that shader to our box, and now we have it on our box. And it's super simple, just, as that, just like that. Unwrap your uh, model, put it on there, and you have this really cool thing. And again, just go into JS Placement, hit this, pick one, generate it, and have some fun with these really cool displacement maps. And yeah, there you go. That's a tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun with these, and thanks for watching.